Okay, let's take a moment and, and focus in on the controlled R syllable pattern in phonics. So sometimes we say controlled R. This is when we have that R like in car or torn or her or bird. And what it's doing is the controlled R is modifying the vowel sound. And it, it's not long, it's not short. So here we have car. Car is not, and we're not doing an at like ka at. It's not ka. <laughs> we're not doing that long a. We're not doing a, 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 I'm sorry, we're not doing a short a or long a. It's, it's something modified. That R modifies that vowel sound. We call it controlled R. It's a controlled R syllable. It says here, and controlled R syllable has a vowel followed by an R. The R controls the vowel and changes the sound it makes. So it's always good to have a definition. So if you're going to name it, so you'll see me when we do the open responses, I always want you to name the strength or area of need. You name it, then you define it, and then you got to give some examples. Okay, so it's very important that if you're trying to point out a strength in the student's work or an area of need in the student work, that you're able to use the correct, you're able to correctly diagnose it. And so the best way to correctly diagnose this is to properly name it. So in this case right here, we could say the student has, we could say a bunch of things. We could say the student has difficulty with controlled R phonics patterns. We could say the student is, uh, hasn't mastered yet controlled R syllables. Lots of different ways, but the key term is controlled R and you wanna have a definition and you wanna be able to spot and give examples of what they're getting right or where there, where there seems to be a gap, okay? Study this one, team. This is another great phonics pattern. You really want to have that definite definition behind you. Okay, keep going.